What's up? Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net and today we are in Adobe Edge Animate and we are going to be recreating this menu right here. So let's load this thing up. Alright, as you can see it loaded up and it slid in from the side all the way over then once it got in it sort of jiggled. Each one of them jiggled. Now that's not the only thing that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing this as well. As you can see, we click on each one. And when we click on one, everything to the left of it shakes. But not anything to the right. Now you can make it so that only the one that you roll your mouse over um, jiggles. However, I like the effect that it looks like it's saying, hey, dude, wake up. And so it sort of hits the one right beside it. And I just think that's really cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, we're inside of uh, our new composition here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create three names. So let's create our first one. And we're going to give it some text. And this is going to be uh, home. And then drop it down, bring it up to here. And that sounds good. Now let's create another one. Put it about right up in here. Drag it out. Give it some text. We're going to say uh, contact us. Okay, and scroll this out. And let's, to begin with, let's bring our text down to about 18. Do the same thing to our home. Drop it down to about 18. And then that way we can make everything smaller. So let's drop that down here. And then let's go to our contact. Drag it over. Go over contact us. And move it. To about right up in here now let's make our menu item bigger and let's reset to about right up in there and now let's get a um, let's go to text and let's see uh, uh, feedback that sounds good okay now over here we want to well let's rename so we got our this is uh, feedback and this is our uh, say FD that's our feedback div this is our contact us so contact us and this is C div and this one's going to be home. And this is going to be our home div. So now, what we want to do is that we want to come over here, <coughs> excuse me, inside of our elements. And for each one of these, we want to drag our feed and to where it highlights the div, you drop it. Okay, do the same thing with our contact us. You drag it and then you drop it. And then do the same thing with home. You drag and then you drop Okay, this way, whenever we grab a hold of that div here, we'll be able to move both of them together. And so that's what we want to do, be able to move them together. And so that's what you got to make sure you grab a hold of that div, and then you bring it down. <clears throat> okay, now, the next thing that we want to do is that we want to go ahead and uh, click here and drag out to about up in there and choose our div drag it out to the side do the same thing with this one drag it out to the side and the same thing with our feedback drag it out to the side as well now okay so we don't want let's go back out to there and get rid of that okay let's grab hold of all these and just slide them out to the side now 
Let's drag this out to the one minute mark. <clears throat> okay. Sorry for that little goof there. Okay, so now let's grab a hold of our feedback div since that's going to be our first one that we're going to drag in. I'm going to grab a hold of it and we're going to drag it to about, uh, about there would be fine. Okay, now click away, come over here, click, and then from there, let's drag it out to there and then bring it in to here. Actually, it's bringing in just a little bit more. Almost to where it butts up, but not quite. Okay, click, go over, click again, and then drag. Let's go over here and grab a hold of home and bring it into here. Okay, so each one of them is spaced about appropriately apart from each other. So now we just come in like so. So let's run it. Okay, so now for each one of our divs, let's go over here and I've got mine set to uh, think it was elastic because I wanted it to sort of jiggle as it was coming in. So then we choose elastic, click on this one, swing out elastic, click on this one, is out elastic. elastic. So now then whenever we play it, it sort of jumps almost like it's hitting the other one and then bouncing off from it. Okay, now what we want to do here is that we want to make it so that each one of these will sort of do a little wobble. <clears throat> and so what we do is that we go to about right up in here and then we create a label. This one's going to be our, um, let's do feed, and then go to here, and oops, yeah, and this one's going to be contact, so let's click there, It'll be contact. We go to the next one, and this one's going to be home. Now, let's go to our feed first. Double click. Let's go down here and well, let's make it so we can see our grids. Let's bring this to about, about like so. so. Let's drag this one to about right there. We want each one to be on a line. Okay. Now, now click on it, <clears throat> and then we want to drag it out one tenth because we are on. 15 so we're gonna I reckon this be 1 15th so we're doing 1 15th of a second we're gonna drop this down to 227 oh crap let's try that again 227 and then come out one more and bring it back up to 229 okay now I come over here and do the same thing uh, to this one, double click, go 1 15th, 1 and then drag one, and then go back up to, I think it was 1 what in the world was that? Okay, yeah, that was 126, I was thinking it was 127, so anyway, let's do 124 and then go over to 126 okay then come over here to home and we're going to do the same thing click double click 54 whoa okay let's try this again now let's drag one, two, fifty-four. Hate it when it does that. Fifty-four, and then back up to fifty-six. Okay, so now, whenever we run this, this is what it's going to do. Each one of them's going to come in, then each one of them's going to move just a little bit. Our home didn't though. 
I did it. Okay, there it goes. All right, so now what we want to do here is make it so that we've got a rollover. So we got our feed, our contact, and then our home. So let's click on our feed first. And let's click on our actions. And we want to mouse over. And then we want to play from feed. Okay, and then do the same thing for here. We want to play from our contact. So, uh, mouse over. Play from contact. And then we want to do the last one, which is our home. Action. Mouse over. Play from. Con Oops. Home. So each one of them were capital. Yep. Now, whenever we run it. It'll load there on. Each one of them will move. Then we'll, we run our mouse over. Oops. Okay, so the contact won't do it. So let's take a look at contact. So it seems like contact decided that it didn't want to play. Ah, that would be it. So let's come over here and grab a hold of contact off from there because it's not needed. And do mouse over here. And now run it. Feedback, contact us, home. There she goes. Okay. Now, let's uh, go over here and change our background to black. And each one of these guys, we want to change it to black and give our border solid and that should do good now let's change our text to there she goes that looks a lot better now whenever we run it ha uh, Got the whole thing going on. Sort of kind of helps whenever you don't set your animation, right? So let's remove all that animation that just got created there. So anyway, now that we're back here again. Always remember to double click out of that thing so that you don't create animation or stuff you don't want animation for. So draw this down to black. Find our div. Go to black, then here, go there, solid, okay. Now from our home, contact us and feedback. Let's give you a gray. Okay, now if you do not want them to sit there and jiggle, like if you run your cursor over this one and it jiggles them two, or this one jiggles that one, it never does jiggle to the right, it always jiggles on, on the left. What you do is that you go to here at the end of feed and then you put a stop. And then you go to contact and then you also put a stop and then you go to home and then you once again put a stop now whenever you run it now after it loads okay it'll only jiggle the one that you're on and for some reason our contact us is acting up again I probably I uh, went back too far. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, I did. I did. Let's see here. Uh huh. I did. Uh, play from contact. Okay, so, but anyway, that is how you do that little animation, which I thought was really cool. So then it jiggle back and run your cursor. See now it only uh, moves the one that you're at. And so if you don't want it to jiggle everything to the left, then you put in these stops, which is like a break on it. But if you do want it to jiggle everything to the left, then you just remove these stops. And then allow it to run. You don't need them there. And so and there you go. So all right, this is Wayne Barron for darkeffects.net and I hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, little bit longer uh, instructional lesson here for Adobe Edge Animate. And uh, so hopefully more of the uh, Edge community can come out and do some more videos and then we can all learn a lot more from it. And uh, so anyway, man, y'all keep it up and uh, got any questions, feel free to ask and I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. And uh, if I can't answer them verbally, I will, or if I can't answer them through a message, I will answer them through a video. So all right, y'all take care now. Bye-bye.